Starting in early February 2014, the atmosphere in Crimea was tense for the whole spring. Olay and I agreed to meet on May 10th, but he didn't show up. The next day I found out that Olay had been detained. We had just bought beer and were passing by the former SBU building where the FSB has settled in while looking for a comfortable place to enjoy it. Someone jumped on my back and asked, Is that you, Tundra? I didn't get it at first. I thought someone was just kidding me. I dropped the beer and the woman who was passing by started shouting, What's going on here? Then we were knocked to the ground, our faces down. I was able to see several people in suits, trousers and white shirts, like Agent Smith from The Matrix. Ole's attitude helped me from the outset. When my lawyer visited me for the first time, she told me about Ole, how he was tortured but refused to give his testimony and stayed strong. This strengthened my nerves quite a bit. Ole and I were together in the glass courtroom cage. We talked and exchanged jokes the whole time. At one of the court hearings, a secretary brought 15 volumes of our criminal case. And these volumes, they got scattered around. I said to Ole, look, our case is falling apart. We didn't take the court proceedings seriously, not for a single moment. Instead, we looked at it as a theater performance, where we were the viewers in a VIP theater box. I thought to myself, if the court ruling is issued on August 24th, on Ukraine's Independence Day, it would be cool to participate actively in this performance, rather than just being passive viewers. Even though the court decision was issued on August 25th, we did sing the national anthem of Ukraine. That was our answer to the slapstick comedy show we were watching all that time. When we started singing, the judge fumbled and not knowing what to do, announced a 15 minute break. When he was leaving the courtroom, we watched him leave and we were singing. Like the dew before the sun, enemies will fade. I study at Vernadsky Torida National University, majoring in tourism. I haven't thought or planned yet if I will work in this industry. But I do have experience in tourism already. At least five years of extreme tourism in Russian prisons and camps. I was quite surprised that a lot of large men ride electric scooters on the streets. Food delivery is very popular. Icos are everywhere in Kyiv. I was a bit surprised that you can pay in the supermarket using your phone. I tried not to plan anything since I didn't know how long I would stay in prison. I could be released tomorrow, or I could stay there for the rest of my sentence. 